I've heard many times in my life how ditch players say that uh, they don't like other ditch players sounding like we wah 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 and it kind of marks this bad that you do playing you know when somebody is um, playing the basic drone now my point is maybe twofold one thing is that bad didgeridoo players don't necessarily play the basic drone basic drone usually isn't the worst sounding didgeridoo playing the worst sounding didgeridoo playing is when you're trying to play something which is either over your abilities or totally disconnected from the sense of harmony inner and outer due to the fact that you're chasing some kind of technical um, expression maybe that's not the perfect word but you know what I mean most people are drawn toward ditch playing through the basic drone maybe all or 99% so, how does it happen that at some point you say, oh no, this sucks. It was great, you know, while it lasted, the basic drone, it was great. When that was the, the only thing I could do, but now that I can do more, basic drone sucks. And I don't feel you can ever properly fully say, I mastered the basic drone that's one thing because it also depends on the quality of your in breath and out breath and the quality of your lips buzzing it can always be clear a little bit clearer a little bit pure a little bit deeper a little bit louder a little bit softer a little bit better controlled because the basic drone isn't really one fixed thing it's that area around the fundamental uh, you do not set a certain configuration of overtones to the basic drone. So this can also always be changed and improved. And the other thing is that it just doesn't sound bad. I mean, basic drone is beautiful. It's a kind of this organic, deep, soothing, supernatural, analog synthesizer and just nice and the same way chants are or mantras you enjoy them not just because of the content but because of the quality of the vibration they have and it's a kind of timeless quality you don't lose that quality because you're able to play the toot or because you're able to wobble or because you can play articulations or some complex rhythm and the beauty of the basic drone stays and you can open your ears and heart to that truth and also you can open your mind uh, in the way of exploring it deeper because it is not that one fixed thing that you master and then you can move on well hope this helps enriches your perception in some way